Hey guys, what's up? I'd like to give you a piece of mind about um, IBM and Lenovo and their history as they advanced through the years and uh, give also a personal opinion in change of materials and uh, quality and for this, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use my own collection um, because I got models from uh, many uh, different ages throughout the life of the company so these are divided into three main categories as you can see um, the first being ThinkPads manufactured by IBM Corporation second being ThinkPads manufactured by IBM Lenovo Corporation and the third one is actually a little cheater because this is not a ThinkPad this is an IdeaPad and that is made by Lenovo well I tell you why it's an IdeaPad and not a ThinkPad and what's the difference so these are all in order and um, I'm gonna start with the oldest being my ThinkPad 390E from 1998. So, this computer is very nice, I think. When it came out, it was very expensive, but the quality was higher than other models, and it's very reliable. Um, very small screen, um, keyboard comfy, what can I say, uh, track point, and uh, you know, just because it's expensive and they put a lot of work in it, this has still a working battery and everything works in it perfectly, including the internal original hard drive. So this has a Pentium 2 processor running at 266 megahertz and uh, 128 megabytes of RAM, um, SD RAM, and uh, a 9 gigs hard drive. Well, most of the things we can find on it is not very useful today. For example, the serial port, the VGA port, and the printer port, or actually the PS2 port for uh, external keyboard or mouse. Uh, we don't really use PC cards anymore, PC MCA. <coughs> Sorry. This is for audio, and uh, this is a CD drive and a floppy drive. It's thick and very heavy. Next in the line is my IBM T30 from 2004. This is not as heavy as this one. It's less thick and the top is more smooth than this one. Um, it's, it's a very great computer. I really like it and I still use it sometimes uh, for designing work. This has a Pentium 4 processor running at 2 GHz and half a gig of RAM which is 512 megabytes um, and a 40 GB ATA hard drive, just the normal one. So um, this thing kind of looks uh, similar to the other one and uh, I'll tell you the similarities in the comparison and the differences also. Um, it's it comes in handy the DVD ROM drive here and the two USBs on this side uh, over here um, power jack S video internet and then again these are not very useful today the serial VJ and printer port well VJ was kind of replaced by HDMI the next in the line is from the next category because this was made by Lenovo and this is a IBM ThinkPad X41T, T being a tablet, because uh, this is actually a tablet computer. Um, it has a Pentium M of 1.5 GHz, it has 1 GB of DDR2 RAM and a 60 GB hard drive, which is kind of special and I'll tell you why. Um, this uh, computer is different than the other ones. It's much more lighter, light vader and much uh, less thick. This is an ultra portable, so it has no uh, optical drive, um, just some basic stuff we need, and that being two USB, a VGA, and this is, uh, well, I'll tell you what that is in a minute, and um, the uh, audio ports, uh, another USB internet PC card slot, and one thing I like about this is the SD card slot, which comes in handy. So this computer is, a, is an ultra portable with a touch screen, it can go like this. And don't let yourself get fooled because this thing actually is not a full multi-touch computer just look at this as the ancestor of the touch screen because this thing doesn't work with your fingers it only works with this pan supplied with the notebook so if you lose it from this little holder right here you're a bit screwed but I, I don't have that problem it's, I always put it back to the place where it belongs and, and it's gonna be fine so Next, 
is my IBM ThinkPad T400. Um, it might power up when I open it because it's turned on. And this guy has a uh, Intel Duo 2 core T4, uh, excuse me, T8400 uh, Pentium. Blah, Jesus, so many information. Let's start it again. Duo 2 core T8400 processor, which runs at 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, this is 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, DDR3 and 160 gigabyte of uh, SATA hard drive. Uh, less less uh, th uh, thicker than the other ones over there. Um, kind of the same thickness as the ultra portable version here. Oh, forgot to say this computer is from 2009. Uh, well, this from 2005. So um, it feels great. Uh, it has most of the stuff we use today, uh, including uh, USB ports, internet, uh, an advanced PC card for P uh, slot for PC card express and normal PC cards. Um, uh, well, VGA. This version unfortunately doesn't have a HDMI. Another USB and a DVD RV drive. This is the battery that's sticking out because it's an advanced battery that runs uh, for longer. I bought it for it, so some people don't like it. I think it's okay. It's worth it for the battery life. So, um, so what did we look at so far? We looked at my 390, which is from 1998, the oldest one. We looked at the T30 from 2004. We looked at the ultra portable tablet, the uh, X41, and we looked uh, from 2005. And we looked at the T400, uh, made in 2009. And there's only one left. And this is the IdeaPad made in 2013. This is a uh, Lenovo IdeaPad G780 and it has a Core i5 processor, second generation, running at 2.5 GHz. It has 8GB uh, of DDR ROM and 500GB of SATA hard drive. Um, not so thick, a bit thicker than the T400 here and um, it's, it's pretty heavy but I guess it's okay because this is a 17 inch multimedia oriented notebook so um, let's compare these guys and let's see some similarities let's see some differences and while we go along I'll tell you some uh, opinions I got from these computers so let's go back again to the oldest one right here Back in the day when you bought a ThinkPad, how did you know immediately, just by first sight, that it was a ThinkPad? Well, if the computer is closed, you knew it because here's the IBM logo, which is on this computer, is very well designed and it has kind of this, this uh, feeling to it that it is actually carved out of the body. Um, it also has this special thing IBM always had, the indicator lights when the lid is closed. You can see if the computer is in sleep mode or if it's charging or it's on, which is very good. Inside we also have a IBM ThinkPad logo here, but there is one thing that gives it away automatically and that is this thing. The IBM track point, including these buttons right here, colored red, red and blue and these being the click buttons, this being the scroll button which means if you push this and you use the track point to scroll up or down you can scroll just like using a mouse wheel so this computer in my opinion feels great there is no flex in the keyboard or on the palm rest and the screen is uh, perfectly protected with this wide ass case which is <laughs> kinda heavy um, it feels kinda like matte the, the, the quality is very good, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break, because it's not gonna break, because it's cool, well, yeah. And uh, <laughs> this, this thing just feels expensive, still, after all these years, this thing feels expensive and nice. Next in the line is the T30 from 2004. This is sort of uh, smoother than the, the surface of the other one. The IBM logo is still there, if you can see, yeah, here we go. This is just kinda, kinda like a normal plastic logo. Um, but also just like the old one this also has indicator lights on the top right here telling us this computer's situation um, and if you can see this the track point is exactly the same as the older ThinkPad and it also has something that is similar is this thing let me zoom in on that 
you see that right there? That's a little, a little of an area that was sunk in so you can comfortably use the computer and it actually still there on this newer computer whoops you, can you see it there just next to the palm rest there is this little area that sinks in allowing you to use the mouse buttons with your thumb perfectly so whoops um, smaller than the other one screen is bigger this is less plastic around it well these are the speakers for this one for example which are in the other one located below it's it's not so heavy as this one well that's normal because it's six years newer and um, the quality of this computer feels also very good this has no flex or whatsoever the keyboard feels great the hinges are strong made from metal on both sides this thing just feels that it's put together very good in a very good experience way so um, um, what else is there to say there's a new cool feature they implemented uh, this thing right here and that's a little light and if you push a special combination of keys this light will turn on glowing your keyboard and um, so allowing you to type in dark this is kinda like, like how IBM dealt with uh, the uh, illuminated keyboard from uh, other companies you know it's like cheaper and it's 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 okay so that's good um, uh, well I forgot something that is very unique with IBM Let, let's go back just for a minute to the oldest one this IBM com computer uh, features something that was hell of a cool thing back in the day and that is called the Ultra Bay and this Ultra Bay on this computer works this way to flip this up around push this button then pull on it when you do that this thing comes right out well it's not doesn't come right out because it's a bit stuck and it's a pain in the ass to get it out but I think that's just only because it's old oh, come on yep here we go I can remove my CD-ROM drive and the floppy drive and now I can save space but there's another cool feature about this you see this door flips when you put the drives in when you take them out it flips out so there's a much smaller base, space in here why is that? to demonstrate this I'm gonna take out the original battery because on the other side of the notebook damn you could start a truck with this and I'm just gonna show you that I can place this right in here and I can put another battery in the original port here I cannot put this inside the battery bay because it's too small but what I can do is have two batteries in the same computer allowing me for more than eight hours of battery life and eight hours of battery life in that age was something you could only dream for I'm just gonna put this back together and IBM kept on uh, using the Ultra Bay Oops got this part of the battery, never mind. IBM kept on using the Ultra Bay but in a much simpler and elegant way is because this is the T30 from 2004 how you do this is you flip this switch this thing jumps out pull here you go save space electricity or install another battery that is shaped like this IBM really does sell batteries that are shaped like this just kinda cool in my opinion So, this one, mm, this is no ultra bay because this is an ultra portable so uh, it has no optical drive but it yet still has the same characteristics as the other ThinkPads. You can see the ThinkPad logo here which feels a bit cheaper unfortunately compared to the other ones because this just looks like a normal plastic logo with a uh, carved, uh, carved frame around it but it still has the same keyboard layout with the same track point, track point yeah same buttons and this kinda sank in area around the keys so you can fit your hand comfortably to it um, this computer feels way more fragile than those this is from 2005 so it's one year older than the T30 right here and I think they sacrificed some durability for portability because honestly the latch on this computer is actually broken so I can just flip the screen all around I want and I don't know how that broke and the keyboard also feels a bit weak because the keys tend to come off very easily but 
that is just one small thing. Other than that, the computer is built great and the mechanism that turns the screen around allows you to put it like this and put it back in any given moment. It works very good and it, it doesn't feel bending, it doesn't, I don't have any flex, I can, I can turn it all the way around any way I want. This computer still remains in the same spot and it feels just great. There's a bit of a flex here, also here, but I guess I can live with that, it's, it's okay. Next one. This one, to be honest, it's my favorite. They did a great, great job to create the successor of this very uh, famous IBM T60 series, and that is T400 and T500. So this is T400, and this thing feels just great. Not so thick, not so heavy, with an outsticking battery that might disgust some people. This thing is extremely strong having only one latch to open the screen on this side um, just like the other one made by Lenovo so it, it's kinda like I, IBM they have two latches Lenovo's they only have one latch and so does this have one latch on the right side and oh yeah one thing is that IBM's actually have an angle to them while Lenovo's are kinda like bricks you see what I mean is that the old guy right here has this little angle on the bottom going like this and the other one too has this little angle going like this where the D's are just straight. Alright so let's get back to the T400 um, this guy is just very well built um, no flex anywhere it feels great the hinges are strong um, keyboard works great um, there's uh, the quick access buttons that are on all other IBM's too making it very comfortable to use there's also indicator lights out here I forgot to mention so this on this one right here and um, it's just very strong and it just feels great and I really like this one it features a touchpad but it also includes this practical <laughs> which I really like uh, track point the the classical layout because if you take a look on there you can see that it has a touchpad which has on the sides little arrows that allow you to scroll sideways and uh, all around but it also has the track point with the normal layout using left and right sticks with the scroll button so it's it's kind of giving you an option uh, on which one you want to use which is pretty cool uh, I, I like both but I think the track point actually works better which is surprising um, also has a light it shines on the keyboard um, uh, what else is there to say I'm sure I'm forgetting something but whatever uh, let's move on to the next one and this is the idea pad and I'm gonna be pretty harsh on this and I'm gonna tell my opinion this computer performs great it runs great I really like it but it's shit and why because it's plastic everywhere come on I, I know these are plastic too but this is really plastic the hinges are weak and one of my hinges broke right here and I actually don't know how it broke and it really pissed me off and I needed to do a home fix with some screws and it actually it's okay now but that's not what I expected well other than that this computer is pretty cool it runs great but I don't like the fact that they sacrificed a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, quality. This um, kind of has uh, a metallic feeling, but it's just plastic. And um, this is actually metal right here, if you can see that. Right here, it's metal, which is very good. The keyboard, is, is it's, it's good. Um, I have no problems with it or anything. Oh, I'm there. Hey. So, the keyboard is pretty good but I don't like that it's the keys are a bit far from each other and it doesn't feel as comfortable as the other ones feel well the touchpad is uh, it's actually it could be better and you know why because this thing see right there on that side of the touchpad where is the right click mouse button do you hear that compared to this this is very 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 loud and it's 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 sort of a 
it's sort of not stable, it's, it's not in one place, it's moving around, it's wobbling, and that's not good, that's bad. Do you see how this thing looks very dirty? And that's because all fingerprints show so much on this computer, you know, I, I can just scrub it off. And I don't like that, and also the touchpad and the keyboard from one year of use is starting to be really shiny, which you can see on only old computers. That's disappointing, but hey, come on. I think this computer is great actually. So, well, this has no ultra bay. To take out the DVD RV drive, you have to undo this screw first and then you can just take it out, which is like any other computer. So, in short terms, I think that this is very good, but it's just like another computer that could be made by Acer, Dell, or any other company. But the, these ones right here are very special and I really like them. I think all of them are great computers because that's good, but it's not great. These are great. The design is very nice. I think Lenovo should go back to the old design. I mean, come on, don't go back to the old design, but do something like it. it you kept it for so long, so why sacrifice it this quick, you know? just for plastic these things look good they feel good and I think they are working very good and they have their very own design which is respectable and I am I'm not proud of Lenovo that just let go of this quality and let me tell you one thing let me put all these aside how about I told you that these two come from the same companies This feels good, this feels plastic, this feels good, this feels nothing out of the ordinary. I hope you see my point. So I guess that's all I can say about these guys now. And um, I hope I gave you just a, a little idea about what happened with Lenovo IBM in the past years. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I do loads of computer reviews and uh, other stuff like that, so if you like it, just go ahead and check out my channel. If you don't like this video, then press X. Bye!